Them black folk assemble like the Avengers. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. What's up, Wackians? Now you know. We got to talk about the brawl that ends it all. We talking about the Montgomery Riverboat brawl, riverboat attack, riverboat assault, riverboat battle, whatever you want to call it, man. It went down in Montgomery, Alabama. All right. Now, if you living under some type of rock and you don't know what I'm talking about, we're going to get into the story. But please, first, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I'm dropping new content on the YouTube channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about what, what transpired here in Montgomery. Now, a security guard was asking these uh, white people if they could move their boat because another boat was trying to dock. Out of nowhere, one white man just starts swinging on the security guard dude. And he, getting ready for some action, took his hat off and threw it up in the air. Just launched that mug right up in the sky and said, let's get down. So he started getting down with one of them. And it was like a group of them right there. And the friend, one of the, the friend seemed like he was really trying to just separate them. Uh, the friend of the white man who who, who punched the, the, the black security guard. Now, I had to make that clear. The security guard was black and then the man who punched him was white. But I'm sure everybody know that. But anyway, the white man's white friend came and tried to separate him at first. Then another white dude comes out of nowhere and just starts dwelling on the black dude, the security guard. And then all of a sudden, all three of them are punching on the black security guard. Maybe it was a woman there too. She might even been throwing some hands. I don't know. It was going down. So what did people do? Black people went into action. We had another brother. Uh, we was one of the people on the camera holding one of the cameras that was recording this because everybody had their phones out. You know what it is. A uh, lady was on there talking about, help that black brother, help that black man. And the call to action was answered. And black people started coming out of nowhere. The one first dude came down, started fighting them, separating them. And one black brother that was on that boat that was trying to dock, he jumps in the water. He I ain't even going to wait. He jumps in the water, swims. They call him Aquaman. Aquaman jumps in that water, swims to shore to go ahead and get that action too. All of a sudden, more brothers start coming. You got brothers coming up, ready. They, they holding the pants, getting with a fighting stance. They proceeded to to whoop on these white people for <laughs> a good clean minute. I mean, it was crazy. At one point, it, it turned into some WWE wrestling stuff when one dude had a chair and was just bashing people over the head with the chair. He even bashed this little white lady over the head with the chair. And she had, she had just got stumped out herself, her, her damn self. So then they go from being stumped out by them to him just boom. Her, booting her, hitting her over the hill with the chair. Just straight up Stone Cold Steve Austin style. You know what I'm talking about? There was some black cops there. And at that point, they had to arrest that brother because, yeah, you know, he, he hit the woman. I get it. I understand, but he he was he just was so passionate. You know, he had adrenaline was going through these men. I mean, for real. This was like a, a knockdown, drag out fight. These white folks start trying to go to their they boat, acting like everything was going to be okay. And uh, it was over, and the black people was like, nah, 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 bro. And they was coming. They was coming to beat you down because you start this, we going to end it. That's what, the, that's what the brothers were saying. If y'all want to start this, then we, us black folk, we going to end it, and we going to end it the way we want to end it. And that's exactly what happened. So that officer, those officers who end up arresting the one guy who was swinging that chair, just bashing these people over the head relentlessly, uh, it was a white lady who came up to the officer. He just we just pushed her away, just knocked her back, like get up off of me. And she went tumbling down, fall to the floor. So I don't know what was going though. Hopefully nothing happened to that brother. But you know, he he seemed like he was for the most part letting the the, the men get clocked. But he wasn't there for the BS that they was on either. He was mad because it really was an unwanted attack. It was such a, it was such a high level of entitlement that these white people. I guess felt insulted that they were even asked to move out the way to make room for another boat to dock that they could attack the security officer there. It was ridiculous. Like, who do you think you are? Right. And to think that they could just go on about their business and not suffer any consequences was laughable. So I got no sympathy for them. Nobody's life was taken. And just it was a it was a correct and beat down that happened. Every, every once in a while, you might have to hand those out just to let people know, hey, you don't get too comfortable. Don't get too friendly thinking you can treat me or treat us as a as a people as a race any type of way we're gonna put hands on you now of course social media has decided they want to go crazy about this everybody's commenting on it calling them the avengers 
calling uh, the one dude, the, the one boy who swam, who jumped out, out the boat to swim onto the dock to help the, uh, the brother, the security officer. They calling him Aquaman, as I said. Um, yeah, just a lot of, you know, like I said, the wrestling stuff with the chair, with the chair swinging. It's brought a lot of memes. Black people talking about this is going to be a holiday it, because this happened on August 5th. They said August 5th is going to be the new holiday. And I was like, all right, Negroes, now chill out. August 5th is not going to be the new holiday. What we need to be doing is not just celebrate this moment for its moment's sake, but looking at the unity of black people when we come together and hoping that we can harness that energy, that, that same energy that them people on, on that, uh, that that riverboat dock had, that we can have that same energy for other things that we may need, like voting rights, like um, uh, you know other economic policy, child tax credit, maybe reparations. Uh, a lot of stuff that goes on, you know, uh, the police brutality stuff, trying to find a way to, you know, reform the police, and, you know, prison reform, all the, you know, shoot, even stuff like uh, lowering prescription drugs. That uh, black people, a lot of black people who who have ailments and need, you know, medical care, and everything's so expensive. So we can harness it for a beat down of some drunk, most likely racist white people. Then we can harness that power to, you know, get some actual policy implements and change things. But I ain't gonna get too preachy about it. Just, I, you know, it does give hope when I see how people can come together for something. Just, just to defend ourselves from being mistreated, uh, from prejudiceness and all that stuff. I don't even know if prejudice, prejudiceness is a word, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, shout out to the people, the Montgomery guys. Um, I didn't initially think that this was that big a deal because I, I watched a couple of clips, but once I saw the entire video, I got a little bit more. And so I can see why people are happy about this and celebrating. I'm just waiting to see how they're going to try to flip this and say that these black people were savages. No, nah, F that. They weren't savages. They were standing up for an innocent man, a man who was working, doing his job, being attacked by the real savages, the fools who went ahead and unprovoked, unprovoked attacked the man was working and just asking them to allow some other people to dock so that they can get off the boat so that those were the savages not 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 that security guard that black brother security guard and all those black men and women who came to his defense once they saw that he was being ganged up on for no reason at all so shout out to them uh but you tell me what y'all think y- y- y'all loving this y'all celebrating black people go ahead and knocking over some racist heads or y'all saying like, oh, this is going to make us look bad. You're on the fence about it. Either way, you don't really know. Um, are you looking to hopefully, you know, manifest this? And like I said, it's a, you know, fight for some real change and, and, and action in the, in the black communities across the nation. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, but I know what I'm thinking is. That's what's up. But like I said, let me know what your point of view is. If it's match your mind, different mind, or a little bit in between. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.